is one is a great story. Like if you've ever got to read, hopefully get to read Alice Walker's book. It is a great book. I feel like it was a great movie, and I feel like this is an awesome show that people need to see. People need to experience this show because it tells such a wonderful story. Uh, well, basically, even uh, in the title, it, it truly is about love and, and redemption. And uh, you know, basically, we see our lead character Seely, that um, basically, you know, even starting at an early age of abuse both physical, emotional, and then turns into a sexual abuse um, that you know, she's had to reach out to find faith and strength in times when it looked like it was the farthest thing, um, but she's able to somehow hang on to it. The role is definitely the most complex I've come across thus far. Um, aging is the biggest thing. It's very hard to revert back to being 14 and then in the next moment be 20 or 22 and 25 and 27. And this show, Celie doesn't leave the stage. She just ages and the story progresses. But that's one of the best things about the show is that it continues on. Well, I play Mr., whose name is also Albert, who is, um, it's a very, very mean man. Very, very mean man. I feel like that's the one thing as a challenge as an actor is that you have to put yourself in that character and then develop yourself fully in that character. Like, so I have to give the girls hugs like before we even get started. Anybody have to yell at, I always give everybody a hug so that they know that, hey, I'm about to leave now because I have to be this guy. So you're not gonna like me for a while. Well, I'm playing the role of Harpo and he's a character that's kind of on the opposite spectrum of domestic abuse. Like his wife, Sophia, she beats him and Throughout the whole play, just like learning to like still love Sophie through the whole thing and still be with her. But he has a really strong relationship with his father. I play the role of Suge Avery, which is a beloved and I would say maybe infamous role in The Color Purple. And I see her as like a, a worldly woman. The women want to be her and the men want to be with her. Everybody identifies with Suge because of that, because she's very exciting. She's like the color red. Even though the show is about the color purple, she brings red and passion into the play. As soon as the word got out that we were doing it, people were already talking. There's a passion for this show that became evident from the time we announced it, started talking about it. Even with Tim and I uh, both wanting to direct it, and they decided, well, the only way to solve this is direct it together. Um, there, from the time that the audition started, there was a commitment. People showed up prepared. One, there's not one person in the cast who cannot hold their own. Everyone is talented in singing, acting, dancing. I mean, they're getting like experience probably working with people of all different types, uh, like age-wise. We have little kids working on the show, and we also have like full adults working on the show. And it, it like provides a broad spectrum instead of just working with collegiate students. What's great, I believe, about community theater is, yeah, people have, you know, entirely different life. They have jobs. We're lucky enough to win this collaboration with TSU that we have students, that, you know, we, we have other responsibilities. But our passion for what we do is so strong and for this story to take away from our free time. It's one of the things that while I was going to TSU, um, they prepped us in saying that we are to go and serve in the community. Um, no matter what your profession is, you are to serve. And so it's very important to me to come back to my alma mater and show um, with the, the talents and gifts that I've been given that I'm serving the community. There's an excitement for the story, can I, can I, can I? I don't know if I've heard in, in the theater community so much of, I so want to do this play. It's going to be such a great like realization when people get to see it and they realize that this is a great show. Like I'm excited to be in the part of this cast. I think this is just going to be an amazing experience. Go see Seeley in The Color Purple, October 25th through November 4th at Tennessee State Performing Arts Center. <laughs>